we'll guide you through how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders can really go and enhance the look of Minecraft and make it look even more realistic or just different. So let's get started. You will need to come and close off Minecraft like so. Next, open up a web browser of your choice. I'm using Chrome, but it doesn't matter. What we need to do is go and search something called Fabric. Fabric is essentially a way we can go and run different mods in Minecraft to so go and search for it. And then you make sure you come to fabricmc.net. If you can't find it, type in Fabric Minecraft. Then click download and you can press download for Windows like so and it'll be downloaded. Below the download button, find the option for Fabric API and click on it and you'll be brought to Curse Forge. Come to the right of description and press files. What we can then do is scroll down and we can go and find Fabric API for 1.21.5. Press the three dots to the right and press download file and wait for it to go and begin. It's now gone and downloaded and we can press the back button. Now you want to click on the search at the top of CurseForge and you want to go and type in something called Sodium. We need this in order to go and run the shaders. So go and search for it. Then come down to Sodium and we can press files throughout our description. Now come down to the files. What we need to do is find the game version for 1.21.5 and the loader is going to be Fabric. That's what we downloaded. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. Now go and wait. That's now downloaded and we can press the back. And now what we need is iris shaders. This works with sodium. So go and type it in like so. And we can then go and click on it and come to the right of description and press files. Now what we need to do is make sure we get it for fabric and for 1.21.5, which is this one here. Press the three dots to the right and press download file and wait. And what we can do is go and press the back button like so, and you want to go and just select mods in this row of options. Come to the left in browse by and select shaders. And we'll go and see different packs we can get here. Different shader packs are going to go and look different. And you can scroll down and often go and see some pictures. And you can also go and check out the gallery as well. Find one you want and we can press files. And then we can go and download it. We can see this is for 1.21.5. Press the three dots to the right and press download file and wait. Before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring the video. Here you can get yourself a Minecraft server. I'll put a link in the pinned comment and in the description. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. If we scroll down, we can go and start checking out some of their great features. One of my favorite things are the servers are 24 seven and you can go and get help anytime you need it and so much more. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below. Thanks them for sponsoring. Go and open up your file explorer, come to the left and go and press on downloads. And here's what we've downloaded. To get started, double click on fabric installer, make sure 1.21.5 selected and press install and we can press OK. And we can then come to the bottom and press search and go and type in Minecraft launcher. Go to the top and press installations and then scroll down and go and find fabric loader for 1.21.5. Press the file or folder icon to the right to get to the files and scroll down and find the mods folder. Come into here. If you don't have one, you can go and create a folder called mods. And then what we need to do is come back to our downloads and you need to go and add in the fabric API. Then you need to go and add in sodium and then iris fabric like so. Now we can come and hover over 1.21.5 fabric and press play. Press escape to go and pause and press options and then video settings. You'll notice things go and look different as you've got sodium installed and with iris you'll go and have the shader packs option. So tap on at the top. Now what we need to do is go and add in the pack. So go and open up your file explorer. We can come to our downloads and drag and drop the pack in like so. There it is. You can then select it and press apply and make sure shaders are enabled. We can go and unpause the game. And as you can see, we've successfully gone and installed shaders. 